So yesterday I ended up going down a bit of a rabbit hole on Amazon. It seems to happen to me quite a bit for some reason. I'm sure it does you guys too, but I was looking for a replacement pocket knife, just a small little pocket knife I normally carry in my camera bag. Mine went missing somewhere along the line. So I found the knife, but while I was there, I was looking at some watches and a few other things and decided to see if I could come up with a decent four piece carry under $100. And I think I did pretty good. Ended up with a watch, the pocket knife, a pen and flashlight and the grand total was only 94 US dollars. So today we're gonna be doing an unboxing of some Amazon goodies. Before we get to that though, you might've noticed I have a little bit of stubble going on. I signed up for a Movember account with a small target of raising $100 through the channel for men's health. I'm going to be leaving links throughout the month of November in all of my videos where you can donate. If you can do a small donation, that would be really appreciated. If you can't, that's all good too. It's a really good cause though. So let's get to the unboxing. All right, so I believe the package on the right here has the watch, and I think I'm going to try to save that for last. So we'll get that out of the way, and we'll start with this one using the case today. And out. First, we have the flashlight. You can see it is a Sofern. Sofern. This is my second one of these. I actually have the other one right here. I'll show you guys in a second. So there it is. This may need a battery. And if it does, I'll pause and go grab that. Yes, it does. So this is the model SP10S, and I am just going to pause for one second. We'll grab a battery. Okay, so we are loaded up with a battery. This just takes a single AA battery. If you're looking for a rechargeable option, a friend of mine actually gifted me this one earlier this year. This is the SP40. It's been living in my truck since I've had it. I've used it quite a bit and it's been super solid, no problems with it at all. So hopefully the same goes for this smaller model. So I'm going to hit the lights and just show you some of the modes. So we have some different levels of brightness. A double click will put us in turbo mode, which is the brightest mode. And then a triple click strobe which i'm going to shut off very quickly because i'm sure that's annoying to watch and one of the coolest modes this has actually is it has a lockout mode so if you hit the button four times it'll lock the flashlight so if you throw it in a bag or putting it away you're not going to have to worry about it coming on accidentally and killing your battery and it takes four continuous clicks to unlock Another feature, I think, I've got to read up a little bit more on it, but I did feel the gasket sealing up pretty good when I closed the battery cap here. So I think it's got some decent water-resistant properties too. So seems like not too bad of a flashlight at all. Next up, we have the pen. So this one is the Parker Jotter. This is a refillable pen ballpoint. Uh, this is the black version of the pen. There's a whole bunch of different colors. I actually have a blue one right now. And we'll just open up quickly here. I guess I didn't actually need the knife to do that. but So the blue one that I have, I've had for probably about about a year i haven't had to refill it yet but it's nice that uh, you're able to get those refills and i think you can get them actually on amazon just a little bit of scribbling here but it seems to write just fine and Feel solid. There's nothing special about it. It's a pretty basic pen, but uh, it definitely does the trick. So not a whole lot to talk about with that one. So let's move over to the next package. 
Then we'll get the case out again. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep the watch hidden away in there for a minute. And we'll get to the pocket knife that started the entire uh, whole Amazon debacle to begin with. And uh, obviously it's a Victorinox. And we'll get it opened up here. And there it is. So just a small little knife. Multi-tool, rather. This has a couple of things going on. We have a very small blade. There is the nail file. And it also doubles as a screwdriver at the end. We have the tweezers which just slide into the end of the knife, the body of the knife, and then toothpick. So I mostly use this for the knife and the screwdriver. The nice thing with a small little knife like this, this is the classic SD, by the way, in black, but the good thing with this is I've been actually doing a little bit of product photography, sort of a little side hustle over the last few months, and... When I do need a knife, sometimes it's nice to be able to pull out something discreet and not freak people out. I have some pretty big knives. I have quite a few smaller knives too, but this one's just really small, discreet, and non-threatening. So, And also it's a solidly made little piece, so you can put it on your keychain or uh, you know carry it in your pocket. So that will be coming in very much handy for my camera bag. So to the last item... And we've got a watch here from Casio. So I bought this particular model because I've been looking at it for a while actually, but I've never owned this one, but Aaron Dunlap had done a video a few months ago or a few weeks ago on this one, and it looked kind of cool, I thought. So we'll dig in here. And we'll get the plastic off here and... Here's the reference number, actually, the DW291H-18VCF. There's a couple, at least one other variant of this watch. There might be more as well, but one of the things that I was drawn to this for was the size of the buttons. A lot of the Casios I've had have quite small buttons. I actually have my world time here, and you can see even with that one. Although I don't have much of a problem pushing the buttons on the world time, but this one's just going to be a little bit easier. This is a little bit larger than I thought it was going to be. And again, I'll hold it up to the world time there. You can see there's quite a size difference. But looks pretty darn cool. We've got a lot of the functions you see in a lot of these Casios. We've got, let's see here, world time, alarm, timer, stopwatch, and back to our home screen. Water resistance is 200 meters, and this is just kind of a cool look. It's a little bit different than some of the uh, other Casios out there, a little bit different than anything I've owned, at least, from them. So I'm looking forward to getting some wrist time with it. And speaking of wrist time, let's close this out with a quick look on wrist. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's very lightweight, so very comfortable. It wears a whole lot like a G-Shock Square, although it is a little bit bigger, especially with the way the pushers jut out the way they do. I'm loving the fact that the pushers are larger like that. And not only are the pushers larger, so are the numerals. So it's going to be very easy to use as well as read. Nice pop of red here on the display too. I just love these affordable Casios. They're a lot of fun. There's a lot of really cool ones to have, and this is another great option for sure. So that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little Amazon haul. I'm going to leave links to all of these products in the description below if you're interested. Really appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.